All right, world of YouTube, today's the big day. I can't wait. Tonight at 7 p.m. Hopefully, I'll be going live with a video show. So if they get free Wi-Fi. Ah. Still, my data sucks on my phone. I'm still waiting to get a little extra money to pay that bill. And get extra data so I don't have to wait for freaking Wi-Fi to put my damn videos up. I can go live. But, anyways topic of the day <clears throat> and I just the other night listened to th I'm surprised and glad it came up on YouTube <laughs> of course you gotta go through the commercials but it's well deserved due and I love it just it's I've only listened to three songs and I'm telling you man no doubt in my mind Judas Priest Still one of the best heavy metal bands of all time. I mean, if I was to put him in a category, I'd go down the line as to say Black Sabbath, the Judas Priest. <clears throat> and I mean, there's a lot of damn songs throughout their categories and albums. It's like ACDC, uh, other great bands that have stand the test of time. And I mean, for them to just keep rolling out like they do, it sucks. I probably won't even get to see Ozzy's last year, but supposedly this is the last tour, tour two. And Priest, another album made. In this album, I can tell you, man, he's got the good guts of the kick in the ball sack that you need to pep up your day and make you feel good. But what else I want to talk about is, is that, uh, I'm hoping <laughs> next year, and this is to you, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, I swear that God is bad enough now that Dave Holland cannot treasure that moment with the band that created, you know, the most epic, ironic songs of all time. It's bad enough he won't get to see that now, because he passed away this year. And that man extremely pisses me off. And not only that, Glenn Tippin suffers from Parkinson's disease. I never knew that until I read an article about the new album. He played on it, and he recorded, but I guess he might not be touring this year. And then it was a big controversy of K.K. Downing is uh, didn't get asked to put it on it or something. I don't know. I hope they're both on it. I hope they did the work. And yeah, they're just going to have to have someone fill in, but that album's friggin' oh man. First three songs. I'm friggin' blown away. And, and that's why K.K. Downing, if anybody don't know, left the band because the last album Notre Dame yeah it was good but you know <laughs> KK loves the heavy stuff and I guess that's what they did in this album but pff, damn some good shit Rob still has his Vox I can tell you that right now man I just it's just it's a, just a shame though it's just a shame that, uh, you know, Dave Holland ain't gonna see, ever see the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Now the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame puts that on their goddamn conscience. You know, you throw in a band that's been here for, oh, well, you know, three decades compared to ten decades, and that's the mighty Judas Priest. Oh, we're gonna put in, uh, yeah, uh, let the, let, let's put in Bon Jovi. Oh, man. Christ, I ain't got nothing against Bon Jovi either. I mean, the pretty boy has doubt done his due, paid dues. <laughs> but you know what? They ain't friggin' done half as what Judas Priest has. Hell, even when they and Judas Priest and Rob split up, I mean, still, friggin' still banging out the tunes. And kept 
kept the metal that they loved and dared and, you know, didn't done for many, many years alive. But I swear, man, if they don't get put in next year's as any uh, inductees, man, shame on the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And just like Dead Zeppelin, I'll disres disrespect and disgrace him. You know, Slayer didn't even care if they went into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Ozzy didn't even care when they went into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with Black Sabbath, but... You know, Black Sabbath. Oh, no, let's go. Tony Iommi. I mean, I ain't got no issues and never will, but he runs a little different shift. And I mean, he kind of has a, you know, eh, pushy attitude, I should say. I mean, yeah, he's the one that fired Ozzy from the band instead of resolving problems, get rid of the problem. But, I mean, a lot of bands did that. Hell, even Aerosmith did it with Joe, uh, yeah, the, uh, Joe Perry. But, I mean, the shrug off all that chip on your shoulder and get it all back in the groove. I mean, yeah. I'm hoping Judas Priest did it with KK and got him back in to do the last recordings on that album. But, eh, if it didn't happen, it didn't happen, but... I know when the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame comes up, see, man, that's just a ball buster. Not to get into, you know, they've been out since 1973. <laughs> yeah, I was born. I mean, I didn't get into them just because of that either. I got into them because the first song I ever heard, I was in New York in 1982. Of course, the Screaming for Vengeance album, it just <clears throat> was, you know, in play. But it was British Steel that just, with uh, Breaking the Law, <laughs> and the people I was living with, my mother went back, I never knew that she knew them when she was younger. My mother hooked up with her... <laughs> You know, long lost ex boyfriend or something, brother's ex boyfriend. But his son, man, came picking me up in school one day in a Cadillac convertible. You know, all the kids are out, the teachers are out, and this guy's coming up. Well, he's a teenager at the time, about 18 at the time. And what the? <laughs> he's over here blasting, breaking the law. I'm looking around, all the kids are staring at the car, and I'm looking at the car like, what the f <laughs> But when I heard the song, it was like, you know, electrify. You're getting on me. I was like, damn. Of course, I've always been a friggin' metalhead since the age of five when I heard Black Sabbath titled song Black Sabbath. And when I was sitting in my room and my brother brought that album out. And he, I guess he, yeah, he was trying to be Mr. Guitar Player, my older brother. And he was playing along with it. But that first intro to the song, and bam, bam, I was like, whoa, my friggin' head just looked up to the ceiling. Because he was living in the attic, you know, he had a room in the attic. And I'm like, my eyes are bugging out of my, what the hell is that? I mean, at that time, I was just learning how to deal with being alone and in the dark. Because, you know, my teenage brothers at the time were always out partying. My mother and father, 12-hour shift for my father. My mother was doing part-time jobs, and me, half the time, I'd be sitting home alone. I've said it in other videos, and I'm the type of kid that would get scared, and, oh, I'm going to run to my mother's bed, and get the bed out of here, See me yelling that friggin' head off at 2 in the morning. Oh, I'm getting scared some more, so I run back in the room. But, man, <laughs> music has always been. And there would be nights that, that, I don't know what it was, but when I was 6, 7 years old, I'd stay up sometimes all friggin' night through the summer. It's about a wonder why somehow my sleeping's messed up, but 
there's some times, man, that I can stay up all night, and I did it not just, when was it, 2016, you know, my, my wife's brother, my brother-in-law, you know, lost a family member, and, you know, he's mourning, and, you know, down and out, and out all night, I don't know how I did it, so, like, what, six in the morning? Here I am, friggin' just <laughs> getting aged. Haven't done that stuff since, like, pff, I don't know, back in the day. But, yeah. Just, yeah. And now, you know, doing that when I was a kid and all enjoying the music and listening. And that's what I do, too, sometimes. Sit up all night and listen to music. But Judas Priest, man, I just can't believe and bear that they cannot and have not gotten into the Hall of Fame yet. But with that said, I mean, I gotta, you know, everybody's getting up. But all I know is if I'm leaving it with this, <laughs> shame on you, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, if you do not induct Judas Priest 2019. Because he's, <clears throat> not only have they been pounding out the albums and pounding out the hits and giving people like me, you know, a new way of looking into life and can bear to live in this world when I kick on myself a nice Judas Priest song. <clears throat> Shame on you if you don't let them get in next year. Because that's just disgraceful, disgusting, and simply right out, dishonorable. <clears throat> Other than that, world of YouTube, be safe, take care, and listen to Judas Priest. If you're a metalhead. <laughs> I guarantee every album, every song, well, most of them, at least, <laughs> you'll love and like. And that's going all the way back to Rockarola. Out.